Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello, here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the caves be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure. Oh, should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um, I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. Welcome to the caves. Ooh, it's so pretty and sparkly. <sighs> Amazing. Look, there's a little boat. All aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel. <laughs> it can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mole said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody. <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! Wait for me! Ah! 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 If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. Ah, <sighs> daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Peppa loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to the gym today. Let's check you've all got your gym kits on. Pedro is wearing a superhero costume. Pedro, where is your gym kit? It's at home. I thought it was dressing up day. Follow me, children. 
This is the gym, where mummies and daddies come to exercise and enjoy themselves. Are you all having fun? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of fun. fun. Your gym teacher for today is Grumpy Rabbit. Where is he? Hello, children. Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Oh, 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 oh. Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you... You look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Oh, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. <sighs> Everyone crosses the Pretend River safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers! What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Ready? Don't forget to do the call. Ah! Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done! What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it like this. <laughs> but you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You've made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Aho! Uh -huh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle. They're real little explorers now. We walked across a river. And we swung over crocodiles. And we crawled under a dinosaur. I love doing gym class with Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Desert Island. Pepper and George are at Danny Dog's house. Captain Dog is telling stories of when he was a sailor. I sailed all around the world, and then I came home again. Ooh. But now I'm back for good. I'll never get on a boat again. Daddy, do you miss the sea? Well, sometimes. It is Grandad Dog, Grandpa Pig and Grumpy Rabbit. Hello. Uh, can Captain Dog come out to play? What? We are going on a fishing trip. On a boat? On the sea. OK, let's go. But, Daddy, you said you'd never get on a boat again. Oh, yes. So I did. 
Okay. okay. Bye, bye bye. Bye. Well, there they go, off on a boat, without me. What are you going to do now, Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll clean the seaweed off the house. You don't get seaweeds on houses. No, of course not. We'll take my boat. Are you sure your boat's safe, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, of course it's safe. I built it myself. Oh, we don't need that bit. Off we go. I love going fishing. Me too. And what do you need for a fishing trip? Fishing rods? No! The picnic basket! <laughs> it's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh, dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No, this is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island. With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh, dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea. Help! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. Help! What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Oh, oh Captain, Captain Dog. Full sail. All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! We're, We're saved! Captain Dog has rescued the Grandads. Land ahoy! Everyone off the boat. Farewell, everybody. See you in a few weeks. Daddy, where are you going? Me? I was just... Thinking of sailing around the world again. But, Daddy, you're not a sailor anymore. No, of course not. Leave the sailing to us, Captain Dog. Yes, and when they get lost again, you can rescue them. <laughs> <laughs>